Every Monday since July, we've brought you a wide range of health stories. Topics on everything from the best ab exercises to foods and supplements that fight stress to warnings about artificial sweeteners. That's right. And today, we are answering some of your viewer questions sent to us at the Balancing Act website. And our answer man is, of course, our health expert, Dr. David Friedman. Welcome back to the show. Good to see you again. You ready for this? I'm ready. All right, here we go. <laughs> Question number one, Nicole from Michigan. My boyfriend is always cracking his knuckles. Besides being annoying, doesn't cracking your knuckles lead to arthritis? Actually, that's not true. First of all, when they say cracking, there's no cracking taking place. It's actually an air bubble that's being released in the joint capsule. And studies show cracking or popping your knuckles actually relieve arthritis. Really? In fact, Johns Hopkins shows that people that crack their knuckles have notoriously healthier joints. So where did this rumor come from? Annoyed parents came up with that to get their kids to stop. So parents out there, let your kids crack their knuckles. Just tell them to go to a different room because it's annoying, but it does not cause arthritis. Amazing. Wow. It's amazing. Now, since you were talking about arthritis, our next question is about that. Danielle from West Palm Beach writes us saying that she has heard you mention the benefits of eating yucca or yucca for arthritis relief. And she wants to know how much she should eat and how long it will be before she feels some res results in her joints. Well, yucca, which is what, how I pronounce it. Yucca. 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 Yuc Yucca. Stop it. <laughs> actually, it says yucca, but it's actually pretty good tasting, so there's no yucca in it. I recommend a tea, yucca tea, oh. or an extract, and you can do that twice a day. It takes three weeks, rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis. Great help with those because of its anti-inflammatory properties. Wow, look at that. Okay. Oh, no. Now, Valerie from Pittsburgh. She asks, whenever I'm stressed out, I just want to eat. That's me. That's not me. I actually shut down, so we're opposite there. Why do people eat so much during times of stress? Well, actually, we are wired to associate stressfulness with being hungry. Think about a thousand years ago, our ancestors. Back then, what was our primary stress? Finding food. food. Finding mm -hmm. food for survival. So we associate it. So nothing really you can do about it, but you need to recognize the difference between emotional hunger and physical hunger. And, for example, if you ate an hour and a half ago, and you're hungry but your stomach's not growling, probably more of an emotional component versus physical. And to combat that, uh, ice cold water, if you drink that, your body creates thermogenesis to warm it up and it lets your body think of something else besides being hungry. Oh. Also, celery with uh, fat-free peanut butter, cashew butter, or almond butter, just one piece, gets rid of that hunger and it doesn't cause the fat because it's not a comfort food that you want to stay away from. I'm going to try Ben and that. Jerry, yeah, you girl's Jerry. best friend when you're stressed. <laughs> now, our next email comes from my home state from North Carolina, right. so I'm excited about this. Christine writes that she has heard you stress the importance of chewing your vitamins so that your body can best absorb the nutrients. And she says she takes a multivitamin every day with a glass of water, and she wants to know if her daily vitamin is actually helping her or is she wasting her money because it's not a chewable. Well, actually, as you know, I'm a big believer in chewable, and I have a chew for health supplement, which you chew. Reason is, is when you chew, you break up what you have in your mouth into small particles. You also have saliva, which has three digestive enzymes. Now, to her question, taking a multivitamin, you're skipping that process of digestion. It goes right in, and it's not digesting well. What if you were to chew up that multivitamin? I hear that a lot. Well, let me ask you. If you had a piece of oyster shell, and you swallowed it with a glass of water, but you chewed yours... Oh. Are either one of them good for you? No. No. Well, guess what? A lot of multivitamins are made from shells and rocks and dolomites, things that aren't good for us, whether we chew them or whether we swallow them. Go with something organic, more natural. Uh, fruits, vegetables, and green leafy vegetables have great, great good nutrition, not synthetic man-made pills. Thank you so much for uh, being willing to do all of this well, for Well, it was us. a lot of fun. Looking forward now, to it. Now, if you have a question for the doctor, just go to thebalancingact.com slash ask the doctor. And we may feature your question on the air in a later health report. Today's My Health segment brought to you by Choose for Health, the world's first super fruit, sea vegetable, antioxidant, chewable dietary supplement.